pizza with everything bagel crust. Can you believe it is WW friendly? Because it is. Um, I made my own whole wheat pizza dough from a recipe online. I used Pinch of Yum's recipe. You can use whatever you like that is WW friendly. And now it is this beautiful, soft, pliable dough, perfect to roll into two 12 inch rounds to make our delicious white everything bagel pizza. It sounds amazing. One of the things that I love about this recipe is all the little ways it adds flavor into a very simple, a totally delicious mix. Fried garlic is one of those ways. If you love the taste of garlic and you love the taste of everything bagel spice, you are really gonna enjoy this because it basically just makes little thin crispy bites of garlic chips, which who doesn't love this? So what you wanna do is without crushing it too much, you wanna just press down a little bit just to loosen those skins so they're easier to peel. But you wanna leave the clove kind of intact because we're gonna make thin little shavings of, of garlic. So peeling three cloves here. So now I'm just cutting down the first clove of garlic, getting these nice, thin, even slices. You want them to cook evenly. You don't want some thinner so they're gonna burn fast or anything like that. And don't kill yourself. If you have a little nub like this, set it to the side. Lovely. Now I'm gonna use just a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to line the plate. You can use nonstick spray if you'd like to and then arrange these in as much of a single layer as possible. And when I'm picking them up, you'll see what I'm doing is kind of using the remaining oil on my hands to coat each garlic clove. If you're not gonna use this step, you just wanna give the garlic cloves a little spray with your nonstick so that they have that little bit of the oil coating that's gonna help them crisp up in the microwave. This is, I have to tell you, a novel technique for me, but it makes sense. It's gonna help um, the garlic release any liquid, which will help it crisp up. Three to four minutes in the microwave. Three, two, one. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, we got some crispy little garlic chips going on. These are going to continue to crisp as they cool, so just set them aside until you're ready to use them. Flour your board. I have a little whole wheat flour left here, and you can, leave the other half of your dough covered up until you're ready to use so you don't want to dry out. Now, one thing you might want to roll your pizza out with is a rolling pin, which I was unable to find. So if you have a wine bottle, that works great. If you are familiar with the tossing technique, you can do it that way, or you can just work it as flat as possible and then get whatever is cylindrically shaped in your house. In my case, it's gonna be a salt container that I hope does not spill everywhere. <laughs> and we just wanna get this about a quarter to a half inch thick. But you know, you just want an even thickness throughout. Lifts off beautifully. Oh, hire me, Luigi. And now you just want to set it on tray. And you can use a little bit of your nonstick spray here or um, a pump of olive oil or just use your hands to lightly coat the surface. This is just so it won't stick to the grill. That's right, we're going on the grill today, people. Summertime is the season for grilling, and grilling adds a ton of flavor to your food, obviously, in a very WW-friendly way. Let's go. And this is going to cook up fast, you guys. That's another benefit of grilling. Fast meals for when you and your gang are hungry. Okay, grease side down onto the grate and watch it closely. I mean, this is gonna take like two to three minutes. Oh, one thing I can show you, if your dough starts bubbling and you don't want that, just go ahead and give the dough a few pricks and that will stop it from bubbling up. Or if you like the bubbles, embrace the bubbles. This should be getting pretty cool. Oh yeah. And now remember, we're only cooking it part way on this side because we're going to top it and finish the cooking on the other side. So you don't need to let it go too much longer than this. Let's see. All right. Back inside for some toppings, let's do it. So here we have our pizza dough cooked on one side. Before I flip it over, I'm gonna do the same thing, just a little bit of a light oiling, a light massage on the side that is going to go down on the grill next. Flip it over, and this is when we start to do the cheesing. There are three cheeses happening on our white pizza with everything bagel crust. Um, the first is a part skim ricotta that I'm just going to lightly spread around the crust. I'm just gonna leave a little border, you know, so that we have 
something to hold on to. Ricotta first, now we're gonna grab some shredded mozzarella, because you want that great cheese pull, of course. Just going to sprinkle that around. Now we have to grab a little grated Parmesan, sprinkle that around, including the crust, so you get that little cheese crust experience, and then just a sprinkle over the rest of the cheese. Not too much, this is really important, especially when you wanna eat well and eat light, but still really enjoy your meals. It's about using what counts and not more than that. What, what's gonna make the sensation of eating this dish really mean something and be wonderful and celebratory and delicious and over the top and amazing, but not doing it so much that you stop really getting to enjoy it. So, a little bit of chili flake. You can skip this step if you're not into heat, but I am. You could totally add some shaved serranos on here, jalapeno, that would be delightful. You gotta have some everything bagel seasoning. What did we do before everything bagel seasoning? It is just like the most universal, delicious, kind of sweet from the onion and, and garlic in there, kind of savory, obviously, poppy seeds and sesame seeds. And I'm just shaking this. I'm going to town over all the cheese, actually, because I like it to flavor all that wonderful, mild, fatty cheese. But definitely focus on the crust. It's the best place to highlight for you and for your friends what you'll be getting in this wonderful pizza. Time for our garlic chips, which have cooled and crisped up beautifully. And I'm just going to scrape these off the plate and toss these over top. You can crumble them if you want to or leave them whole. They're really nice and textural. Add a little something interesting to every bite. Make sure they're even. You don't want one slice to have too many and the other to have none. They really did get nice and crispy though. I'm impressed as they got cool. They really turned into little chips. There you go. And now, back to the grill. Just a few minutes so the cheese melts. The other side of the crust, which we oiled up a little bit, is going to bake. And then it's time to eat some lunch. Let's go. Okay. So I have the grill turned down low because at this point I do want it to be able to cook lowish so that the cheese has time to melt. Oh, listen to that sizzle. And I'm gonna drop the lid and let that cheese melt. Five minutes, roughly. Let the bottom of that crust cook, and soon enough, we will dine. In case you're curious about how many WW points this delicious white pizza with everything bagel crust is, the WW app tells you that on Plan Purple, two delicious slices of this garlicky, cheesy, yummy pizza is nine smart points. Delightful. Okay, let's just check in. Let's just take a little peek. The cheese is getting nice and melty. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna check the bottom just to see how we're doing, make sure we're not burning. Looks great. I will rotate it because it looks like one part of my grill is cooking a little faster than the rest. And I think come back in two minutes and we'll be ready to go. Time to take her off the grill. The cheese is gorgeous and melty. Go ahead and grab yourself a nice big spatula and just lift the whole pizza right back onto your tray. Theoretically, you could let this pizza cool, but I think we're all kind of hungry and ready to try it. I'm gonna cut it into eight, and if you have a pizza cutter, obviously go for that, but just a regular knife, one swift cut so you're not dragging through the cheese. Works beautifully, that crispy garlic is calling our name. The everything bagel spice working its wonders. Beautiful, homemade, whole wheat, white pizza with everything bagel crust is ready to devour. It looks cheesy, it looks yummy, it looks crusty. And if you don't have time to make your own whole wheat pizza dough from scratch, you can definitely use the store-bought one. It's already cooked for you, you just use the grill to give it some nice char marks and then to melt the cheese and toast it all up a little bit. Do I need to tell you? Do I need to tell you this is delicious? Ooh, the little heat from the chili flake, all that delicious layering of the cheese, the everything bagel spice, of course delicious. Ooh, come with me, a fresh basil plant. If ever there was a moment to just treat yourself with a little extra beautiful gilding of the lily, it becomes salad on a pizza. Remember our rolling pin? Just hit it with a little bit of salt. Hello, goodbye. Make it now.